What note is this right here? Third fret on E string. G. And then what's right next to it on the A string? C. Good. So you can so you've got to remember G and C. Now you can work backwards from that or forward, okay? So that way you're not counting all the way up the fretboard from A, okay? So this one is, you told me, on the E string, fifth fret E string is A. A. And right next to it is e. D, because we're a step up from C. So we've got to know, like without even thinking, G, C, and A, and D. And then this one up here, we go, you, you told me this one, what's that one? E. B. And then right next to it is E, okay, on the A string. So there, and another thing, like, that's not a fret marker is the B right here and the F right here on the one, okay, on the, on the E string, B on the A string. So it's very important to know, like, that bar, bar chords on the A string with an A string root are based on the A shape. A major, not we do not strum the high E string, or an A minor. Now, over here on the E string, if it's an E string root, it's based on an E major or E minor. So, you practice all those chords, like, and calling them out. So this would be G, C, A, D, B, E, okay, just up to there. Now you can go all the way up to C sharp and F sharp if you want. Okay, now I was just doing majors, then you do minors. G minor, and then C minor. What's this one? Huh? E minor. A minor, and then D minor, and then B minor. instead of down here, sounds different there, it's just cool, and this is a C sharp minor, F sharp minor, okay, now, you've got to memorize those before you go any further with trying to like, you know,